Hello, welcome back to Pirate Studios. Today I thought I would give a lesson, so to speak, on how to play I Was Wrong by Chris Stapleton. Um, first of all, I'm not a teacher, and I don't really know theory. <laughs> so, um, and I don't even know how to, what you call all the chords. So I just want everybody to know that I don't claim to know what the heck I'm doing. And I could be playing stuff wrong. But I learned uh, the whole song by ear. So, um, yeah, I pretty much just know the tuning and I know uh, the no the root notes, the chord, no the, the notes of the chords, but I don't know what kind of chords they are, most of them. So, anyway, um, I'm going to play a, a section at a time. And um, so, if, if there's a section you want to go back to, I'm going to put chapters so you can click and go to the specific spots so let's get right into it the first one is just the main riff it's the intro of the song and it's the same as the verse so like i said i don't know what this is what it's called but here we go so <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna do it slow. So this is a D. I know, I know that. So we're in standard tuning. So, so this is a D down here, and and right here, obviously. It's a D major. I know that. But if you play it similar, the same way, right here. So that's index finger on. Um, fifth fret on the A string. It's just a simple power chord, um, bar chord. The first three are that, and then your ring finger on the seventh fret, and your pinky on the seventh fret on the G string. And then um, your middle finger is going to go on the sixth fret to make this is a D minor and this finger this string down here is not really doing anything I'm not sure if he playing that or not but that's what I hear so that's the that's a D minor so it, it's got the hammer on phrase where it's just barred then you hammer on with there Okay, so there's that, and then the little lick that's in between is just on the fifth fret on the top string, which is an A, and this is kind of it's kind of an A. It's part of the pattern of the pentatonic minor in A, but it's in D. So you got five, eight, five on the A string, seven. And then five, and then seven, and then hammer off to five, and then eight on the top string, and then then the chord. So I'll just play and sometimes he just goes it, sometimes he just goes it's like just like this so basically the the this right here is just the bass notes he's playing they're, they're basically bass notes. So. You, 
you could do it with your ring finger, but it's kind of a stretch. The proper way I know you're supposed to do a finger, a finger of fret, so. Let me show that slow, let me show that other part slowly one more time. That's, that's, that's how you do it slow. Except you're not picking every note. You're hammering on and hammering off. So right there you're hammering on. Pick, 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 hammer on, and then pick, hammer on, hammer on, hammer off, and then hammer on that one. That way. Cool. Next, we're going to go over the pre chorus. Okay, so this is the pre chorus. So at the end of the intro, um, it'll go, it'll continue into the verse that just repeats. Then at the end of right here, it'll go to a G minor. And all that is is a power chord. And then these others are just barred with this finger right here. And once again, I'm not really hitting, hitting this E string. And then F and sliding up to it, to the back to the G. And it's F minor. Still no finger, it's still barred, and that's still not... So that's the end phrase of the verse, the first verse, and it's leading up to a kind of a bridge, kind of leading. It's a lead up, lead up to the chorus. So it's so let me take it back. And then that is an A minor, A major. I'm sorry. So you've got the A power chord. And then this middle finger is it's hitting that major note. And that, that note right there is being barred by your index finger. So um so so you got take it back. Let me take it back. A major. Now next I'm going to show you the chorus. Okay, this next part is the actual chorus. So it ends with the lead in to the chorus. Let me take it back. A major. And then it just goes straight D power chord. And I don't believe he's barring it. You could. You don't have to. So you got D power chord. And then C power chord. And then going to the G. And you know that I told you that I didn't need you. Can't you see that, baby, I was wrong. And then it ends on the, I was wrong, on the D. And 
and then it's got the the part the bridge in between the first chorus and the second verse <laughs> Now, the second verse is the same thing as the first verse. It's just the D minor and the whatever chord this is, the spark chord this is. Right? I don't believe that while he's singing, he's ever doing the... I don't think he's doing the full phrase. I think he's only doing... And then I, I believe that... Um, I'd have to listen to the song again. It's been a while. Um, but I think at the end of his singing phrase, every time he'll go, uh, I'd be better off with someone new. I take it back. Oh. Oh, baby. And then there's the, the pre chorus. Won't you let me take it back? And then that A major. And you know that I still love you. And you know that I'm so alone. And you know that I, I told you that I didn't. So you get the point. So, and then the solo section comes in. And um, my video that I'm... The, my cover video of this song, I, pre, I don't have a band, so I just I just kind of keep timing with myself. And obviously, it's going to be in D. I'm I'm not going to show you my solo because I just improvised. But it's the part during the solo is just the same as the verse. <laughs> So you just you know you got that, that time right there. Kind of I do it with my foot. Cool. So the next part I'll show you the bridge of the song. Okay. So after the solo section, then it goes into the bridge. So I'll just play the end of the verse, which is the solo section rhythm, and I'm going to go right into the bridge, and I'll stop and show you what chord. So, so you got that at the end of the phrase. There's the bridge, and it is A sharp major so that chord is um, right here on the sixth fret of the index finger simple power chord these two on the eighth and then this middle finger is going to be on that major and that finger is so it's just like the A What I wouldn't give to be your lover again. All I want to do is touch your. And then. And then G minor. Tell you, tell you, tell you, tell you. And then back into the final chorus. And you know that I'm so alone. And you know that I told you that I didn't need you. Can't you see that? 
that's pretty much how the song ends. Anyway, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for stopping by. I got more for you. Tons of more videos coming. Thanks for all the support. Out.